Hey everyone, hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Bitcoin is coming down a little bit. It looks like it's trying to tap on the 50 moving average on the four hour chart right now. And guess what? I just bought more Bitcoin. I just bought more altcoins. And I anticipate just like the past few times we've had these massive dips, Bitcoin is going to try to bounce up at least for a little bit of time. And so what I've done, because right now we are, we are at all time highs, people may be a little bit more afraid. There are a few different ways you guys could try to trade this right now. The first way is, of course, just to think about this as far as a long term trade where you're getting a dip and you guys are going to buy and you guys are planning to hold on for a few months to a year, depending on where the bull market pretty much ends and then sell right there. That's the easiest way to hop into the market because, you know, you're getting a discount at this very point in time. If you guys are looking to swing trade this up, this becomes a little bit more difficult to do, as you guys might imagine, because if it moves up really fast, you might be incentivized to just turn that swing trade into a day trade. Right. So if you guys are looking to buy in on this dip, I don't know how long it's going to last for. So I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible for you guys. <clears throat> but I think that you guys should prioritize trading Bitcoin and Ethereum and maybe leave all the altcoins alone for a little bit of time unless you guys want to go over to day trading, in which case I would say altcoins may be your best friend there. But as far as going with the Bitcoin and Ethereum, I think it's going to be a lot easier to do some leverage trades for those like a 10x to 20x leverage hold for maybe up to five to six hours. And I think a day trade is going to be solid for you guys. Um, you know, and of course, as far as day trades go, of course, you just buy right now and hopefully it booms back up just a little bit. Uh, where are we at right now? We're on like $69,000. Maybe it'll get back up towards $71,000 and that'd be a really good price to sell $2,000 profit. You, you know, you, uh, well, you know, uh, going back up something around that point. Now, over the next few weeks, it looks like things are slowing down a little bit here as far as Bitcoin's concerned. So you might see a little bit more downward pressure. We'll talk about that later on through the stream tonight if we can actually find some signals. Right now, if you guys are looking for some signals, maybe we have a death cross in the four hour charts or potentially we start breaking down below the 20 moving average on the daily chart. If I were to go over here to the daily chart here, I mean, we're not even close. You know, we're not even close to the ad as far as I'm concerned right now. So what? You may intend to happen here because Bitcoin pretty much just gave back all the gains from yesterday. Not really much else besides that. Maybe this leads on to another level of consolidation like we had a few weeks ago. It looks like all the way back over here in mid-February. And during that mid-February consolidation where Bitcoin was trying to figure out what it was going to do against the 20-day moving average. Basically, it went sideways. The 20 moving average came up. And as soon as we came into contact with the 20-day moving average, we just started to skyrocket. During that process, we saw altcoins going up a quite a bit here. So again, if we see more breakouts or if I see more breakouts coming out here with altcoins, I am still going to attack those breakouts and assume they are going to be swing trade capable plays. I will have a stop loss that moves up. So in case something bad happens, I will actually be able to get out of the trade maybe a little bit sooner rather than later. That does take some of the risk out of my, you know, my, um, my trades, but it also takes away some of the rewards. But if, you know, if Bitcoin's going to freak out a little bit here and people are getting a little bit more scared, that and typically makes me a little bit more worried as well. Although to, to manage that, I'm not going to not be doing swing trades if altcoins choose to break out. Instead, I'm just going to buy the breakout. The previous dip before the breakout, I will put that as my stop loss. If the price goes up, I will move my stop loss up and so forth and so forth. And so if there is some type of dump day where those tokens come back down five or 10%, well, you know what? I won't get the top spot up here, but I will be able to get a good opportunity to, uh, how would you say, um, lock in the profit. So I at least walk away with some type of profit here because again, Bitcoin is in all time high territory. I know it's a bad day right now, but Bitcoin's at 69,000. $69,000 Bitcoin is still something that is very, very ahead of its the time here. So I'm going to be anticipating a larger move. One of the things I think that happened today was uh, the news is trying to spin this as good inflation data. It is not good inflation data. And I think inflation data is um, causing a little bit of a panic. It caused a little bit of a panic a few months ago and the month, uh, a month, ago, two months ago, then a month ago. Each time Bitcoin went higher after the initial shock. And on top of that, the stock market, again, went higher after the initial shock. Right now, NVIDIA is kind of going through some issues as far as the stock. So people are kind of freaking out there. But Bitcoin itself has still been doing well. So that's kind of my thesis of why I'm buying more Bitcoin. I'll be answering a bunch of you guys' questions later on tonight. But you guys know I'm not streaming right now in the midday. I am going to be doing it later on tonight for a longer stream. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. I've been loading up a lot on the meme tokens, a lot on the AI tokens today. And of course, Bitcoin and Ethereum. I am doing some swing trades right now or some day trades, I would say. And I'm hoping just to get back up to $71,000. I think that's a pretty good level base of how everybody's freaking out right now. 71,000. If we're lucky, 71,500. And if you guys want to hold on for a day or two, we might get back up to 72,500 or even $73,000. Um, you know, if things really start to take off again, 
But for now, let's push those aside. I think 71,000 is a good goal if you guys want to buy around uh, $69,000, okay? Have a good rest of your day and I hope, you guys see, I hope to see you guys tonight. Thanks.